my true understanding is, all right, you got one life. And that one life, the goal for us is to live it to the best of our ability from the beginning to what said the end. You know, if every time someone asks you a question, you try to say the right answer, your entire life is a test. And when did you have the most anxiety in grammar school and high school? No question. On test day. No question. So your entire life become this test. I ain't trying to say the right answer. I am just doing what I feel. My mama said trying is failing. There is no ifs, woulds, coulds, shoulds. It just is. And we just are. Yes, not all lives are equally, I get that. Yes. And, and you could get the wrong hand dealt to you, either birth defects or, or your family. Whatever it is, this oh is my God, wish. that is your, whatever it is, that's what you've got. Show your life. Hi everybody, what's going on? Today is November. <clears throat> Today is December 4th, 2023. We are currently, let's see, 26 days away. 26, 20, 26, 27 days away. But um, today's gonna be a rest day. I gotta continue editing. I'm starting to fall behind now in the episodes in terms of editing wise. I need really need to catch up. But um so that's why I'm today I'm gonna take a rest. My body's a little sore from yesterday, just from the weights. But uh so I'm gonna take a rest day. I'm gonna edit a lot. Try to get at least one I'm trying to get part four done officially and then get part five started. Part five is gonna be a long one. So I really, I think Friday night, I'm going to try to pull an all-nighter, work on part five. And Saturday, I'm going to try to work on it as well. Um, I got to start uploading clips. But well, first, I got to make the file. I'm going to finish part four, and then do part five. Upload on clips for part six. Today, this is episode seven that you're watching right now at the moment. And, um... Today I'm going to finish, I'm starting this episode with because I got some new equipment. You guys know how I said a few days ago, or well, a few days ago, that the person that me had me doing some ball slams. Well, I bought one, okay? This is it right here. It's a 15 pound ball. It's a medicine ball or just a, a sand ball, whatever you want to call it. But I'm gonna be using this for my boss lamps. I'm gonna use it right here on this, on these step stones or these pavers. And then I'm also gonna try using it here in the grass as well or dirt just to make the impact a little bit more intensified. And, um, yeah, man, I'm just I'm excited to start using that. I really am because I know it's really gonna push me. I can really get some solid work in, especially with that and the dip bar and doing the weights and doing the cardio and the walks. I'm telling you, this next following week, I'm going to work my ass off. I'm going to really push myself because, one, I go on vacation starting on this Saturday. After Friday evening, I'm officially on vacation for nine days straight. So, damn well, I'm going to put in my work. Okay, everybody, today is December Fifth, two thousand twenty-three. Today we're doing an outside workout. I got the dip set up. We got the stand ball today. We're doing. We got the weighted press. We got the dumbbells. We're gonna hit all of it today. Um, before I start, I need to change the battery on this camera. I got one already charged up, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that. Then we'll get started doing a workout. I think I'm gonna do a lot this upcoming week. So we have the whole week off, so I do the workout or walks in the morning, walk out into the afternoon, and then throughout the day just work on videos. What is? And yeah, let me go ahead and change this battery. Let's get started. I'll see you guys in a bit. We lose them. Our life sucks. 
Life is beautiful because life gives us the ability to just know them on our journey in life. We met them. We loved them, but we cared about them. They cared about us. That's, that's the purpose of life, just to enjoy what we had, what we journeyed through it. You don't go through life just saying, you know what, I'm okay being average. Average sucks. It does. Don't go through life burning at 10 watts or 50. Be a 100 watt person and burn bright. Don't settle for average. Please don't, okay? Because you'll look back one day when you're old and gray, almost like I am, right? And you'll say, you know what? That freaking sucked. Because those few moments in my life when I was extraordinary, that was when I felt most alive. I always felt like I could do anything. That's the main thing people are controlled by. Thoughts, their perception of themselves. They're slowed down by their perception of themselves. If you're taught you can't do anything, you won't do anything. Do all you can within your power and the power of others who love you to, to maximize what you can be, what you can think, what you, you can learn, how you can love, all of this. Your gift, it's the gift. Because as you, most people, most people that could exist, mathematically, will never exist. Wow. 75 years. That's how much time you get if you're lucky. 75 years, 75 winters, 75 springtimes, 75 summers, and 75 autumns. When you look at it like that, it's not a lot of time, is it? Don't waste them. Get your head out of the rat race and forget about the superficial things that preoccupy your existence and get back to what's important now. Right now, this very second. I found out at that moment, nothing in life is promised except death. If you have the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate their moment until it's past. It's a dream, man. It's a dream. That Hi, everybody. Just get on the walk out. Here's a good one. I did a light workout, not too many exercises, because one, I was loading Christmas trees all day, and I um, walked about 14,000 steps just today, 14,000 steps with loading Christmas trees, then doing this workout here at the house, but um, anyways, getting on to workout, so first we did dip ball exercises, first set of dips. We did 15, second set we did nine, pull-ups, Second, first set was 16, second set was six, leg raises, first set was 15, second set was seven. Then we went on to the dumbbells, reverse cores to failure, first set on the right arm was 60, second set on the right arm was 46, first set on the left arm was 45, second set on the left arm was 32. Then we did the dumbbell extensions, First set to 15, second set to 20. Then we went on to the body workouts for the weighted vest. Dogging in place for two sets of two minutes. And then we did the ball slam, 15 pound, two sets of 30. Oh, boy, that ball slam got me going. Getting some frustration out with that. Pretty good. But, um, did I save my weight yesterday? Yeah, yes, this is it. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah. Right now I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna go ahead and show up. Not really sweaty, but I got like tree sap and all that kind of stuff all over my hands. So, I'm gonna go take a shower. Then I'm gonna make something to eat. Then I'm just gonna rest for the rest of the night. Maybe work on the editing a little bit. But, um, tomorrow I think I'll do a walk. Yeah, I need tomorrow to do a walk. I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. I might, if anything, I'll probably do a walk. If not, then I'll do another workout just like this. Um, but um, yeah. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna make your life what it is. Education ain't even mentioned in the Bible. It never mentions education. I mean, congratulations when you graduate, it's a major accomplishment. I'm not knocking it at all, it's major. But until you chase your dreams, man, you ain't gonna really live. If you just go to work every day on something you ain't happy doing, that's a miserable life, man. 
I would chase that dream. Bishop Jake said one time, I would hate to die and never do the thing I was born to do. What's going on, everybody? Uh, I don't know why I sent the camera, and hope you guys can tell based on my voice. If not, I've been, I guess you could say, sick, congested over the past couple of days. Um, I wanted to continue to work out and do the things I want to do, but kind of hard to do. I mean, kind of sneezing, kind of doing a wet cough constantly. So um, I just decided not to do anything crazy. I wanted to do my walks, but mom advised me not to. Just the rest. I take your advice. Um, I'm getting over the cold now or the sickness or the congestion. Um, today is Monday. Today is Monday, December 11th, and uh, I weighed in, last week I weighed in at 213, this week I weighed in at 11.9, so I still managed to lose 1.4 pounds this past week, um, so I'm still proud of that, I knew it could be probably more if I were able to work out, um, it's okay, I'm going to go ahead and this week I got planned, it's my vacation week, so I don't gotta work at all this week, not until next week. So, basically my plan is to wake up early, start these morning walks like I'm doing now, it's currently uh, 8.45. I wanted to start a little bit earlier, but I just slept in a little bit, I used to. I wanted to start at like a seven, about like an hour ago, but 8.45 school, but, um, yeah, so far that's what I got for you, but, um, dang, I was about to say something, I forgot what I was going to say, oh, it's a little chilly out, just a little, that's why I had a guess, it's probably your 50s right now, but, um, it's cool, but, um, yeah, I'm doing a morning walk, then we go home, eat, shower up, and do an afternoon workout later in the day. Mom will try to get up a little bit earlier. She tries to do the same thing, more than walk. Ask me workout, as me my routine for the next week or so. So, um, you guys are gonna see a lot more footage, a lot more of me sweating, hopefully. A lot more pain, grain, and grinding just to cut these couple pounds, because I'm at 211.9 as of about 15, not even 15, 10 minutes ago. So, I think I'll do another fast cut, water fast sometime. Might be middle, the later of this week. Hopefully, I can lose about six or seven pounds. That'd be ideal. Drop me down to. What, two, 205, 206, and I got two weeks to go, so right now we're three weeks out from January 1st, so um, I got 11 pounds to go, so we're going to get to kick in the hyperdrive with either lose three pounds this week, lose three pounds next week, lose two pounds, and then weigh in, or try to cut as much weight as possible this week, and hopefully I can do that with just the uh, the workouts, the walks in the morning, and do the water fast. So hopefully that'll be the goal. But um, yeah, man, I really just want to kick it to hyperdrive. I want to stay active since I'm not at work. I know if I'm not at work, like yesterday, I didn't do nothing at all yesterday. I didn't do nothing besides go to the Christmas party for work. And my daily steps yesterday was like 2K. And then on Saturday, it was less than 1,000. So my daily goal was 8,000, 8,500. So that's the daily goal. That's really pretty good, managing about 10 plus steps a day, 10,000 steps plus a day. So I kind of got bummed out a little bit when I realized I was coming down with a congestion and gain this cough, but um, 
past two minutes lost some weight I'm gonna keep it up to get a hyperdrive we'll record some clips for you guys and we'll just keep it going so I'll catch up you guys in a bit you need to put yourself in uncomfortable situations and uncomfortable scenarios okay if you do easy things you will have a hard life if you do hard things you will have an easy life let me say it again if you do easy things you will have a hard life if you do hard things you will have an easy life as a man you have to understand that we as men we do better in environments where we are uncomfortable okay you put pressure on a rock it turns into a diamond let me show you this we all live inside a bubble right this is our world we go to church here we work over here we go get our coffee over here we go to this park over here we usually go over here to you know hang out with friends this is our favorite club this is our world this is our favorite spot on the beach we all live in this bubble what you got to do to get the life that god wants you to have you got to put more air in your bubble you got to blow your bubble up expand yourself Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever wanna be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get about it. Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things. That ain't, that ain't happening. You got to get real doggish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. You're looking for calm and peace. You won't matter. I actually said this before. People were talking about how do you decide or how do you know if someone's going to be monumentally successful in the world? And then we, everyone knows, because there's been large studies on it, that IQ level is not how you dictate it. And I'll tell you how you dictate it. Somebody's tolerance to stress. The better you are at dealing with stress, the more successful you will be, because as you climb up the ladder, the stress level increases. It is a direct positive correlation between success and stress. They go together. There's no light without dark. The more money you're paid, the more important you are, the bigger your problems. They said it, more money, more problems. It goes together. I'm not complaining, because I'm prepared to handle those problems. But as you get bigger and larger and larger and larger, the pressure is heavier and heavier. So you're going deeper in the ocean. As you go deeper in the ocean of success, the pressure around you. Hey, everybody. Just got home. I walked for about an hour and six minutes. We're good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shower up. A nice clean shower. Eat something. Continue editing these videos for you guys, and I'll meet you guys back up later today for an outside workout. And then tomorrow will be the same routine. Wednesday will be the same routine. No, tomorrow I gotta go with my mom. Mom, my mom has a mom. My mom has a doctor's appointment, so if she wants me to go. I'll go. If not, then tomorrow will be the same routine. But um, either way, I'm I'm still gonna do a walk and a workout one way or another. Um, Wednesday, same thing. Thursday is my birthday. I turned 22. And, um, I think the, I think my birthday wish for this year could be reaching that 200 mark on January 1st. That's the one birthday gift I want for myself. And to say that I did it would be a huge accomplishment, not only myself physically but mentally knowing that i pushed myself to my farthest limits and put in the work and the amount of uh, sweat blood blood and tears and the hard work i put in you know that i paid off that's uh, that's something you can't replace when there's just my birthday finally we do the same thing work out and walk um and then it's at it some days well so i'm gonna go ahead and shower up eat something and i'll catch you guys later dawn today i'll see you guys then 
only the strongest submarines can make it to the bottom. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. I would like to know when you're in that moment failing mm -hmm. and you have to keep going, what do you say to yourself? What if? A lot of times I'll be in a 200 mile run or something like that and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I started to say, what if I can pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle? What if? I can become someone that no one thinks I can be. And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms. Because it makes me just like, what if I can be that guy that people who call nigger and this and that. And now I'm speaking at Tom Ferry's fucking event. What if? That's it. built to walk uphill and when you reach the pinnacle of the hill you want to stop and appreciate the vision but the next thing you want is a higher hill in the distance because it's from the uphill climb that we derive our value and I mean this technically so almost all the positive emotion we feel that's experienced in relationship to a goal and so in some sense you want a goal that you can never attain Right? So you can always move closer to the goal that recedes as you move towards it. You think, well, that's frustrating. It's like Sisyphus pushing the rock uphill. But it's not because as you pursue that goal, you put yourself together and your life does get better and richer and more abundant. You want them to be above everything you're doing so you can continually move towards something that's more sublime and better. That's what you are. You're, you're here to live, not to, not to sleep. Everything worthwhile is uphill. You see, every dream that you've ever had, it's, it's all uphill. If you have a great relationship with somebody, you, you had to work on it. it, it's uphill. If you build a wonderful business, guess what? It was uphill. If, if you've made the right decisions, they're, they're not easy, are they? It, it, it's uphill. And the only way that you can go uphill is to be intentional. Nobody ever accidentally went uphill. You've never talked to a successful person and said, how did you get to the top of the mountain? And then look at you and say, I have no idea. If they're at the top of the mountain, they know how they got there because they had to have effort. It took energy. It took time. Everything worthwhile, everything worthwhile is uphill. You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day doesn't come to you. It's not in three easy packages and it's not the cure to overnight success. And the only way that you go uphill is by self-discipline. So listen to me very carefully. It's an impossible for you to have continuous success without having self-discipline in your life. Now self-discipline enables you to go uphill. You can't go uphill without self-discipline. Nobody will carry you uphill. Nobody can coach you uphill. Nobody can push you uphill. If you go uphill, you gotta do it yourself. You need discipline. You need personal discipline. There's times when you don't feel like doing what needs to be done. And, but you gotta say, feelings has nothing to do with it. Um, this is my dream. This is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do the things that I don't feel like doing. I'm gonna do the things I don't wanna do. I'm gonna do the things that uh, don't come easy to me, that do not come natural to me. I'm gonna get up and do it. Um, you can't live your life on feelings. You're gonna have feelings, okay? But you cannot let your feelings dictate what you are. 
Hi everybody, today is currently December 12th, 2023. I have to do my outside workout, I have to get y'all set up. I already got the slam bar out there from the little patio area. It's bigger, water bottle, weights, the point all set up already. Um, so I'm going a little bit backwards. Um, this morning I take my mom to a dance appointment, so I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to start off my workout. I'm running about 214, 215-ish right now. I'm going to do my workout, finish this up. I'm going to show about 15, 20 minutes, and then go ahead and take my walk. Come back, eat my meal, eat my dinner, and then continue editing these videos for you guys so it's all said and done. But, um, so far, so good. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get going. you got to have personal discipline. We talked about this before. Sometimes, sometimes four years of college and a degree is part of your path to get where you're going, if for no other reason to teach you discipline. I have to study. I have to do finals. Uh, I, I can't go to that party. I can't go to there. I can't do that because I'm having a hard time in chemistry. It doesn't come easy. And so I've got to discipline myself and I have to sit down and uh, I have to spend this evening studying so I can pass that test tomorrow while all my friends are out partying and having fun. Uh, you gotta have some personal discipline. Uh, sometimes the only thing that keeps people in life from succeeding is just a lack of discipline. And you know, people, they go the route of motivation. You cannot set yourself up to depend on being motivated. Because uh, motivation is what? What's motivation? Motivation is a feeling. That's somebody pumping up your feelings to get you encouraged to do what you should do. Well, what happens when you don't have the motivation? Uh, you just have the personal discipline. It's 44 degrees and it's nice and rainy outside. But no one cares about that. It's not about the rain. It's what the rain represents. Life is always giving you a test. It's trying to give you a way out. It's trying to give you an excuse not to show up. This is my excuse today. But guess what? You gotta have the mentality to show up every fucking day of your life. No matter what life throws at you. It's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life. Prepare for fucking battle. I don't care what you're going through. What life's throwing at you, it's your responsibility to find your new 100%. You know, when it comes down to it, success has nothing to do with potential. It's all about the perseverance of somebody. That will override any endeavor. If you throw shit against the wall, eventually something will stick. Hey, everybody. Just got done my workout. Um, let me go ahead and go everything with you guys. All right, first, we started off with the dip exercises. We did four sets of 10 reps on the dips. We did four sets of 10 reps on the pull-ups. We did four sets of the 10, 10 reps on the leg raise. We went on to the dumbbell. We did shoulder press, two sets of 20. Standard curls, two sets of 20. Dumbbells, we went over with the weighted vest. We did push-ups, two sets of 20. Dumbbell extensions, no weighted vest, four sets of 10. Body workout with the slam ball, three sets of 15. A good sweat. Got a good workout in. That's some good work. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rest a little bit, cool off a little bit, maybe snack on something. Come back out later. I'm going to walk. I'm gonna wrap it up for a night. But uh, I'll see you a little bit in the mirror. Get the show. Good it comes out, but basically, get a little bit closer. It's on the show up, boys. It's on the show. I'll probably pull the tasks up. You guys might see it already. Me working out, having a camera set up, you guys probably can tell already. But um, yeah, again, I'm starting to tone in the muscle. I'm starting to lose my, my man boobs. I'm trying to lose the gut, most of all. Getting some muscle in the arm, starting to show on its own without flexing. Um, but yeah, man, it's. 
It's a struggle. I'm going to try to do another water fast. I'm going to try to do it over the weekend. I might change my mind and start it after my birthday, which would be my birthday Thursday. Yeah, I'll do that to my birthday. So I'll start Friday and go into like Sunday night. So I think that'd be the best plan. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go from there, and uh, I'll see you guys later tonight. Hi guys, time for my walk. I just left. It's been about roughly a minute. Time is currently 4.08. I'm be walking for about an hour. Come back, shower up. Rest the rest of the day. For my night. Probably if I can't sleep as much, I'll probably just work on some vids. We'll get some videos that can't sleep. But, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get this walk started. I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done. You guys that are, have this potential, don't have this potential, you know, that shit dies. What continues to last forever is a perseverance to always show up. That's what champions do. Every single champion is the same as every ordinary person. The only differential is that they show up to the event every single day. They see failure as a learning curve. They welcome failure. You learn more from failure than you ever will from success. So showing up and getting knocked on your ass, finally testing for it to stand back up and re-face that endeavor is going to be the overriding factor that makes a difference. You know, people need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. There is no 5K. There's no, I'm going to get into school to be this or that and still perform to the highest level. But what's funny about it all is that we need these things to perform. But we don't take a second to realize the purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us because the very purpose is you. You are always the purpose. Hi, everybody. Just got back home. Another successful day of a workout and a walk in the same day. Tomorrow's Wednesday the 13th and then doing the same thing which I get up early do a walk <sighs> do ask me workout Thursday is December 14 2023 which is my birthday and I don't got no other plans only plans I got planned is to get up early as fuck to do my walk do an afternoon workout, and whatever happens on the day is what happens. I don't got nothing officially planned yet. Uh, Friday is the 13th, and do the same thing. Walking, workout in the afternoon, and then we'll just see what happens on Saturday and Sunday. Um, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff off. Then I'm going to shower. Get clean, nice and relax. Try to fast rest in the night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow in general. I'll see you guys then. Hi, everybody. Today is December 13th. Time is currently 325. I'm going to go ahead and do this workout, get it all pumped and ready. Everything all set up. So I'm gonna knock this out, rest a little bit, maybe snack or something before I go on my walk. Take my walk, come back, rest. Um, I'm getting to the point where my muscles, like especially my chest, is starting to, um, how can I say this? I wouldn't say deplete, but like I'm losing my, I'm losing my man boobs, okay? Like it's, it's starting to do the formation of my pecs. And I have a long way to go before it even probably shows correctly, but at least it's it's starting to go that way. The same thing with my arms. I don't have to my muscles are the form, so even when I'm not flexing, like just pop on my arms real quick, you can see the muscle, you can feel the muscle growing on the tone. So I'm doing something right. That's I'm happy about that. But um 
enough talking. Let me go ahead and get started with this. And then I'll catch you guys after my workout. And then I can follow my walk on the show with you guys as well. So I'll see you guys in a bit. There may be another purpose, like being a SEAL or going to college or whatever. But the main purpose in life is you. So if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, you don't care enough about yourself. And that's what you need to really research is, man, why am I not doing this for myself? Because that is, that is the number one purpose in life, is to better oneself. So that's the only purpose I fucking need. Yeah, it's crazy to sometimes think like what can happen if we decide that like, I'm going to see what happens when I decide that I am qualified. What happens when I decide for myself that I'm going to do something different? I'm going to have setbacks, I know. But if I'm feeling bad, that doesn't mean I'm doing bad. That doesn't mean I am bad. That doesn't mean that I can't still take some action. Because, yeah, nothing changes and nothing changes, man. Sun don't stop for nobody, man. Sun don't fucking stop. Sun gonna be up in the morning regardless. That sun is gonna be up in the morning regardless. Regardless of how I fucking feel and how depressed I am, the sun is gonna fucking shine in the morning. And at nighttime, the moon gonna be there. And you gonna look up, these days gonna keep going by. So do you let the days go by and look up and you done wasted a year doing what? Or do you just pick it up? All right. Gotta figure it out, made some mistakes. Life goes on. Let me figure out life from this point. I'm a life goes on type of guy. Okay, here's the deal. If you wanna be successful, here's the thing you have to do. You have to jump. There is no way around. You have to jump. Every successful person has jumped. You got to jump. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to dash off that cliff and you got to jump out there as far as you can. Out of the hundred men that go into war, 10 shouldn't even fucking be there. 80 of them are just targets. 10 do most of, or nine do most of fighting. One is a warrior. Just got done with the workout, about to go on my walk. First off, we did dip exercises, two sets of 15 for the dips, two sets of 15 for the pull-ups, three sets of 15 for the leg raises. Then we went on to our standard dart barbell exercises. We did two sets of 20 for the rows, two sets of 20 for the standard curves. Dumbbells with the weighted vest, we did two sets of 15 with the hammer curves. We made dumbbell extensions, two sets of 15. Body workout, we did the wall sit for a minute and seven seconds. Bar slam. We did four sets of 10. Completing my entire exercise. Now I'm going on a walk with mom and knock this out as well. So, catch you guys later on today when I get back. If you pan it down here, you see it's about 3 o'clock in the morning, and there's not a car or a person in sight. If you pan over here, it's the same thing, not a car or a person in sight. People want to know where I find my strength at, where I get my strength. I get it from a lot of places, but right now, this morning, I'm getting it from, there's not a motherfucker that's up. There's not a car, there's not a person. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hate it's a Monday. And I'm loving it. I'm loving that. Where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. Stay hard. Yeah. I don't care how good you are in anything. You don't have discipline. You ain't nobody. Right. You're nothing about discipline. Because you give up.
give up in the slightest struggle without discipline. 100%. I mean, discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Do it. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Just got done my walk. Did an hour and 18 minutes. So, we're good. I'm going to take all this stuff off. Go ahead and take a shower. I'll see you guys tomorrow, even though it's my birthday. I'm not taking no day off. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, guys. Today is December 14th. I turned 22 today. And it's currently 8.03. Started walking at 8.01. It's only been two minutes into my walk, but. It's my birthday, I ain't taking no day off. I ain't no work in still. But um I'm gonna get this walk in. Rest a little bit. Get my workout later. And just keep it going. You hate to do, but do it like you love it. That's a, that is a great quote. Mm -hmm. And if you can do that, you could be successful in anything. You no, know, you normally are. Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Uh, be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. Now, the only place to go from failure is to win. You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far. It's too scary. But you know something? I got news for you. That's where winning is. You know, there comes a day, man. Everyone's gonna have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre, is just sickening to you. It's just sickening. It makes you want to throw up. Because you've seen people with far less talent than you. As you're growing up with them, their childhood buddies, whatever else, they didn't have what you had. Yet now, they're fucking to become something that you haven't. There comes that day, it's either when you're young, you know, and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out. Or it's, it's when you get fired from your fifth job, you know, and your wife and kids are on your ass. Today is December 15th, 2023. It is currently 10.21 a.m. Just started my walk about a minute ago. Um, turns out chance of playing. Plans have changed a little bit. Uh, my dad wants to pick me up today, take me out to dinner for my birthday. And then tomorrow, well, later today, I'm going to my cousin's house. And then tomorrow, we're going to go watch UFC Fight Night. Or UFC Leon Edwards versus Kobe Chaos Covington. We're going to watch that super view of his party at B Dubs, the Buffalo Wild Wings. So, um, yeah. And then Sunday, I come back home. But I'm still gonna, I'm gonna take my camera with me, take my gear with me. So, and if we do do a workout, I was gonna go ahead and record it. But um, I ain't taking no day off. So, um, if anything, I probably won't do a workout today. I know I didn't film a workout yesterday. Um, I was helping my mom in the house, putting some decorations up for Christmas. So yesterday was just a walk. So I think when I get home from this walk, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the ball a little bit, do a couple reps of the ball slams, just so I can get some weight in, some momentum, some uh, frustration, some anger out. That's a good way to cope with it. Save me something, even though I know I'm not gonna break anything. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and my walk. I'll catch up you guys later on today when I get back from the walk and I'll keep you guys posted or updated what I'm gonna do. I'll see you guys soon. We don't have support anymore. There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns and sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out, but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were gonna fail. You were scared if you started, you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, 
but you never wanted to embark on it until something fucking hits. You get fired or somebody else gets success to remind you what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never gonna be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it gets knocked down, you just keep going, keep going, you're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. That can happen at an early age, it can happen at a later age. It's gonna happen to somebody every, you know, no matter what's gonna happen to you. And when it does happen to you, thank your lucky stars that finally you're alive. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. Superior, man. It's within you. It's within every single one of us. Hi, everybody. Just got home. We have five minutes to spare. So I jog my entire distance in 55 minutes non stop. It's hard, bro. It really is hard. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for an outside workout. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, everybody. If you're watching this, this means this is the end of episode 7. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up episode 8 right now. So, if you guys been enjoying the videos, if you're enjoying this weight loss journey of mine, then go ahead and drop a like, comment down below. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So, See you guys in a bit. Every, you know, no matter what's gonna happen to you, and when it does happen to you, thank your lucky stars that finally you're alive. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. Superior, man. It's within you. It's within every single one of us. And the people that have, that have, have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just that they believed it, and they're willing to work their fucking ass off to get it.